okay. So the book that you referenced in your comment, I believe, Happy Ever After, Escaping the Myth of the Perfect Life by Paul Dolan is what references that whole thing that single women are happier. And there was one study on it. It was like a telephone survey by the American Time Use Survey. So the author of this book actually misinterpreted the data of that specific study. Even then, that study seems to have some flaws in itself. Okay, so the, according to the Greater Good magazine, I feel like it's pretty valid. Is marriage really bad for women's happiness? Okay, so here I'm going to read a part of the article for you. He based his opinion on telephone poll results resulting in showing that women professed lower happiness levels and their spouse was out of the room, which would theoretically produce a more honest answer. In fact, interviewers were asking if he stepped out of the kitchen to go to the bathroom. People who answered yes to spouse absent were married but no longer sharing a household with their spouse. Much sadder scenario. Being married was probably not what made the women in the survey less happy. It was separation from their spouse. According to science, no historically large studies show that on average, married people report greater happiness later in life than unmarried people. Separated and divorced people tend to fall into the less happy bucket, while never married and widowed fall someplace in between. And then further down the article, these positive effects of marriage on happiness are there for both men and women. And then further down, there's some talk about people who are happier in general before they get married, are just happier to begin with, which I mean, that could make sense. But happy people who end up married are still end up happier than people that don't get married. And then also on the Institute for Family Studies, it basically goes over the same thing, but here's the happiness chart for women. So based on this, it looks like married women with children are probably the happiest because there's less red. 